My friends, we only got three topics to cover today because the things that we're going to be talking about really, really, really require their own covering is the only way that i can think to explain that because this right here the zen 5 strix halo bro this thing is going to like it's just going to like take the 4060 and it's going to be like squat and the 4060 is just going to get flushed down the toilet it is such a pointless graphics card with this thing right here this right here this is a common question that i continue to get should you wait for the nvidia rtx 5090 or buy an rtx 4090 and then this is just something pretty cool i genuinely honestly do not understand zero of this but it's interesting so because of that i want to share it so let's go over the app uh, really what was that get out of here with your new tab this right here alleged zen 5 is strix halo mobile apu we need to cover this first too because this thing is nuts so a user on their chip hell forums apparently ended up spilling the beans on the upcoming strix halo zen 5 apu allegedly leaking detailed specifications schematics of amd's new cpu design the images seemingly confirm that strix halo chips will use a multi-chip lit approach compromised of two zen 5 ccds and soc die incorporating a massive rdna 3.5 so i told you guys look i'm still learning computer science and if i do not understand something said that i would go ahead and say that i do not understand something and allow you to let me or inform me of what it actually means down in the comments ccds no idea what that is soc die pretty sure i don't know what that is although it does sound pretty familiar so anyways massive rdna 3.5 gpu do in fact know what that little fella is right there that features more <laughs> more graphics compute units than either the ps5 or a 7600 xt ps5 you're so pointless so before going any further it's worth mentioning that these are allegedly leaked details of the strix halo actually you know what so before i forget because this is super and i don't because i really want to talk about this guys i know i get off topic super super easily but the i just want to i want to explain the 40 or the 4090 or the 50 5090 or the 4090 really quickly should you buy a 5090 should you buy a 4090 so this is a 4090 this right here you know how much this was twenty five hundred dollars yes it's marked up it's it's the asus rtx 4090 okay twenty five hundred dollars as in two five and two zeros we're talking four digits two five zero zero that alone just the gpu twenty five hundred dollars okay that is how much that cost the 5090 is going from twenty five hundred dollars and up the 4090 at least from what we're aware of right now the 4090 is not going down in price so whether or not a 5090 is going to be worth it to you that's up to you bro i'm gonna get it because i'm if i was not creating content on youtube zero percent chance i have a 4090 or would be getting a 5090 zero zip nada i don't understand why people are buying 4090s and 5090s to play video games okay if if you're like me and you're using your computer for work absolutely get a four it's it's going to be an investment for you but dude like if you're spending 2500 bucks to play a video game in 4k dude i make a lot of, okay i don't like talking about money but i make a lot of money all right and i wouldn't do that i just wouldn't do it dude like i make my money by buying this crap okay i build computers i make videos on this, this stuff so the question is should you get a uh should you wait for the 5090 or should you get a 4090 that's up to you man it's it's up to your budget it's like i don't know but anyways let's get back to the other article here so just cause i wanted to i wanted to say that so that i could actually what did i just do what did i just do hello i apparently got to uh reopen my alleged zen 5 article because apparently i closed it okay so before going any further oh look they're they're doing they're pulling to me they're pulling to me <laughs> that's, that's, that's just that's so funny right after i do it they're they're pulling to me <laughs> these are allegedly <laughs> so before we go any further okay 
So right here. So we got okay. So it's a chip. And then the so okay. So this so the SOC so the SOC die. That's the that's the GPU, right? And then these are the two chips. And then where's the memory? No, that okay. So no, that's the GPU. So the the, the, the graphics card has the memory around the die, right? And then this is just the normal, whatever. All right. So we got package FP11. We have CPUs. Right, I'm not going to read all this. You guys can see all the hold up real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, it's only a little bit that you can't see. So chiplet link infinity fan out link. There you go. So, uh, all right. So Strix Halo is shaping up to be the most powerful accelerated processing unit. APU AMD has ever produced. So I want you to remember that the um like the 4060 and 4060 ti yes fully aware settings need to be adjusted but like those like those graphics cards are capable of 1440p and i'm pretty sure that the 7600 xt the rx 7600 xt i'm pretty sure that graphics card is capable of 1440p as well however i i got a 7900 xtx like a year ago and like i returned that thing within a week bro all right so that's the, I don't really use AMD graphics cards. Anybody else that has Adobe, like Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, Lightroom. Woo! Oh, you're in for a frustrating treat with uh, AMD buddies. So anyways, let's go back to the article before I get too far off topic. However, dude, this is super cool because like, I think it's gonna be really cool to like build the, uh, the little like retro emulation stations. Well, this thing, that's going to be sick, dude. Like little mini computers. Um, so we'll reportedly be shipping with 16 Gen 5 CPU cores that turbo up to 5.8 gigahertz, gigahertz, along with the 16 megabytes of L2 cache, 64 megabytes of L3 cache. And in addition to the SOC die, supposedly sports an additional 32 megabytes of L4 cache that the CPU and GPU share. Strix Halo is also going to come with an updated xdna npu what is that xdna npd npu that reportedly has 45 to 50 tops of performance surpassing microsoft's minimum requirement for oh so it's an ai so it's new chill relax bro bro all right so what well, dude all right how much how much Woo, we're not going to be getting off topic. We got a long ways to go, bros. All right. Um, nah, 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 nah. All right. So it consists of either 8, 32, L LP, DDR5X memory module spaced all around the APU, just like the one on the PS5 and Xbox Series X, or four 64-bit LP, DDR5 RAM modules in the same configuration. Either way, both of them, the wider AMD uses the 7700 XT and then the 4070 Super what no okay i guess okay never nvidia pulled a freaking intel um and literally just whatever stamped a super it's literally just a 4070 um the note that <laughs> <laughs> you guys know it's true that's exactly what intel did oh we're gonna release 12th generation next year oh we can't come out with the new cpu so we're just gonna boost the 12th gen just a little teeny weeny bit 13th gen Guess what happened after 13th gen? They were like, oh no, we can't think of a new CPU. We're gonna now boost 12th gen even further. 14th gen. <laughs> and then <laughs> that's all they did. So that's like what NVIDIA was like, oh, oh, well, we need to sell a little bit more graphics cards. So we're gonna release a new graphics card. Guess what the new feature is? A word. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Note that the first image shows memory bandwidth of 5 gigahertz, which should, or 500 G's. Note that the first image shows memory bandwidth of 500 G's. Oh, oh, okay. I get it. 500 G's. They're just like, they're just like, they're like, yo, I got 500 G's, man. Like, I'm just totally balling. I can like buy like 700 of these. Which would basically match an RTX 4070 Super. What the frick does 500 Gs mean? 
I'm gonna keep I'm gonna just I'm gonna pretend there's there's three zeros and 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 this and this comma right here was supposed to be inserted right there However, the math doesn't add up. No shit. Remember that we said above healthy doses Of skepticism <laughs> Okay, so like I gotta tell a little story here. I promise I'm not gonna get too far off track Real quick. I'm gonna copy this into AI. Hold on. <laughs> this is a long article, bro. All right. Hold up like, I mean, I'm being serious, dude. There's like, there's like, there's like 20 more paragraphs. Okay. All right. Chat GPT. All right. Come over here. All right. So what I got, what I wanted to say is, uh, 500 G's is what we were talking about. ADHD. Explain this. In your own words. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Do not skip any details. Boom. Paste. All right. There you go. So what I was going to say is, let me scroll back up here. The freaking 30 paragraphs here. So the 4070 super. Oh my God. I hate when that happens, bro. It happens to me too much. Note that the first image shows memory. All right. All right hold up. Hold up. Let's see how far we are here. Okay. So certainly. The article discusses allegedly nah, 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 create suggests that AMD the graphics cards do loo, loo. the leak also hints at AMD's continued focus. Oh my God! So we have to read the article. Frick you, Chad GPT, you suck. Just like bitch. <laughs> so nah. <laughs> All right, so we got the forty-seven. So we get two fifty-six bit. Because I forget what I was gonna say, anyways, bro. I got ADHD so bad. You guys don't even understand. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, yeah. So I think we're all we, we got pretty much all over the, the we got we went over all the specs, right? I got one of the new uh, OLED monitors as well. I'm in my underwear. Where I'd walk over there and lift it up. <laughs> the, <laughs> the 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 uh. Okay, so just like the M1, M2. Oh yeah, I forgot Apple was releasing their overpriced CPUs. <laughs> 